Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. Uh, let's start with uh, being named the captain. What does that mean to you? And were you surprised about it? All of that stuff. Yeah, um, of course I was surprised. There's uh, there's definitely a couple, couple options coming in this year. A um, couple veteran guys that have been around a little bit. So I I definitely didn't come in here expecting it 100%, but I wanted it. I, I, I pride myself in leadership. So it's a huge honor. I'm, I'm super pumped to to be the leader of this team and uh, I've got a lot of good guys right beside me so it's going to be fun. It's, it's interesting you said you wanted it because in the past you know people have taken that C at the American League level meaning ah maybe I'm not going to get called up but you, you obviously didn't view it that way. No I, I don't see it that way at all I don't think being a captain of your team in the American League means you're a lifer by any means. Uh, I come to the rink with the same attitude I would with, with or without it and, and I hope that gets me called back up whether I'm captain or assistant captain it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Looking back to last year, one win in the last 13 games, you had four wins in 25 games. What happened or what went wrong and, and how has that been addressed? Um, I, I wish I had an answer. What, what went wrong? We, we tried just about ev everything we could in that last six weeks and it was frustrating and, and uh, disheartening because we were, we were looking pretty good there rolling through Christmas time. So I, I, I'm not really sure what happened, but we moved on. That's, that's last year. It's a different team. Uh, we, we're, we won't even think about that. What about this year? What has changed or what's been addressed about, you know, how it's not going to happen again? Well, obviously that uh, there's a lot of new bodies in our locker room. First of all, we, we lost quite a few veteran guys like our captain Pascula and Tristan Grand and, and those guys were leaders in there. But uh, we've got new guys to fill those those shoes and, and we've we've just uh, come in with a positive attitude. We just want to make sure we come to the rink, work hard every single day. I think that we got we got away from that a little bit. We got a little bit comfortable and, and it goes sideways quick like we found out. With the positives in Nashville last year, I got to imagine the camp was really exciting this season with those guys. That rubs off on everybody here at this level too? Yeah, big time. It, it trickles throughout the whole organization for sure. Um, like you said, they had a great great season and, and they're expecting to do the same thing this year. with A little bit more success at the end in playoffs. So we, it was a competitive camp, man. It was awesome. It looks like uh, offense should be pretty exciting this year. Talk about uh, forwards and defense as well. Yeah, we've got some skilled hockey players up front. I mean, a few guys coming back, like Kevin Fiala is a second-year guy now. Um, he's going to have some more confidence and be more comfortable in North America. Uh, Pontus Aberg, Mika Salamaki, we have Steve Moses now, who, who led the KHL. So it's pretty exciting times up front. Um, on, the, on the back end, we've got, we've got some younger guys back there still that got a year under their belt now, so we're going to be leaning on them a lot more, guys like Diaby and, and Jimmy Oligny and, and these type guys. So it's going to be exciting. We'll, we'll see what happens on Saturday night. You played 17 games in Nashville in 2013-14. You didn't play a single one last season. Uh, what have you done to try to get back in Nashville? Um, I, I didn't really re rewrite the script of who I am. Um, last year there, I, I had a poor start in camp and kind of got lost a little bit. So that was my main goal coming into camp this year is get noticed. Um, just show what kind of player I am, what kind of person I am. And I think I did a great job of that this year. Do you think it was maybe like the system change at all with Lobby Led? Um, that I had the poor start yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, th I feel that I'm a pretty coachable player. I can adapt to any system. That, that really wasn't it. It was just uh, lack of confidence and, and just kind of stumbled out of the gate and, and unfortunately it impacted me here at the start of the year as well. So um, I'm feeling good about my game coming in this year. What are you looking for Saturday night? What's that? What do you expect Saturday night? To um, it's gonna it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be one of twelve matches against Chicago, so it's it's gonna be a rivalry right out of the gate. Yeah, it's opening night with all of, you know. I mean, you know the fanfare in Chicago. Every team is gonna do that, but they're gonna do it obviously with the fireworks and everything like that. Does that get kind of long and old? I mean, like, like, let's just drop the puck no matter where we are. Yeah, I'd ra I'd prefer probably not to have the fireworks shrapnel blown in my <laughs> eyes when we're warming up out there, but uh, it is what it is. They do a pretty cool show, so.